I'm going to go see Captain America, the Winter Soldier, right now. At last, the Tesseract is mine. At last, I will have my revenge. You hold it right there. You're not going anywhere. No, the Tesseract is mine. You will never have it. No. At last, Winter Soldier, I have captured you. I've got something that'll keep you from escaping, Winter Soldier. That's right, is safe with the Avengers. What's up, guys? Hope you like that, that intro there. I got a little bored last night. All right, so went to see Captain America, The Winter Soldier, the midnight premiere last night. I gotta say, this movie is filled with action. Um, it's very different than the first movie and The Avengers. You know, the first movie is more like a war movie. And then The Avengers, you got more of a uh, superhero vibe to it. This one was more of a spy film. There was a lot of, a lot of espionage. A lot of secrets, a lot of backstabbing. Uh, but I really, I really enjoyed it. This, it was. Um, I didn't like how the movie started. I thought it started off kind of bland. It's like just that first little scene. But um, other than that, I really have no complaints about it at all. Um, I won't, I won't get any spoilers right now. But this is the whole vibe of the the movie is completely different than the last movie and any of the Avengers movies so far and they the battle scene with the Winter Soldier it's not just one final battle like in most movies you know when they have the bad guy you know they had that big battle at the end there's like three or four different fight scenes between Captain America and the Winter Soldier so I liked how they did that so it was more you know like in a comic book series you fight the bad guy more than once. You don't fight him just one time. So I thought that was cool. Uh, the, the new outfit that Captain America has got, it's more of a, it's just all blue with a little stripe, right? It's kind of like a Nike jacket with a star on it. You know, I thought that was, that was more modern. I thought that was cool. Uh, but the, the plot of the movie, you know, it starts out, uh, Captain America is tired of basically being uh, Nick Fury's lapdog. He gets all these these side missions that are, are basically stuff Nick Fury doesn't want to get his hands dirty on. So he's kind of uh, not really getting along with Nick Fury. Uh, he's pissed off at Black Widow because she knows, you know, the missions that are going on is basically what it is. Fury doesn't feel like going. Um, and I feel like going. He just... He wants Captain America to handle it, pretty much. Um, then, you know, as you can see from the previews, Nick Fury gets attacked. Um, then it's it's a story of who who can I trust? Who's against me? Who's with me? Uh, Captain America becomes Shield's public enemy number one, um, and that that's when all. The secrets just start unraveling. Boom, 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 boom. He's got to figure everything out. You know, what's up with this Winter Soldier guy? And then in the third act of the movie, everything just just blows up for you. There's so much going on, but it's not hard to follow. Um, 
So, oh no, I thought the movie was really good. Really, really good. I'll probably go see it again. Uh, probably this weekend. Um, but when you go, there's two post credit scenes. So you want to sit all the way through. The first post credit scene sets up for Avengers 2. And it's pretty... It's pretty damn awesome. And the second one uh, sets up for a future Captain America storyline. Or, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Something happens in the movie, and then later on in the movie, you kind of question it more after you see this scene. But that's all I got for today. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the movie, if you've seen it. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Um, until then, stay true and stay blue. Go for some trauma.